So this song was written around early 2016, and during that time, I remember that I was dealing with a severe case of writer's block. Um, I felt burnt out, uh, unmotivated. I remember during that time too, I was dealing with a lot of personal issues which may have affected my creativity. I still love making music, but I just, I just didn't feel as inspired. That's when I decided to do something about it. I implemented a daily songwriting practice where I start or finish a song every day. And this is one of the songs that came out from that period. Um, it's a song that got me out of my funk and back into writing music again. Hi, this is Mark Rodito, everyone's favorite Kuya, and I'm here to give you a walkthrough of how I made Cloud Keep featuring Abby Press, a song that's near and dear to my heart. If you're someone who loves music or is interested in how I make my songs, I hope that you find this video helpful. Let's get to it. The drums are the main backbone of the song. It's the timekeeper. When I start the song, I usually have an idea of what the tempo or feel would be. For this song, I wanted for the beat to be chill but still groovy and syncopated. I wanted the song to have a nostalgic feel and I was intentional about choosing drum samples that reflect that. The samples that I've used came from vintage and classic drum machines. I usually lean towards happy major chords in my songs, but for this one, I chose a minor key. Now, even though the song is written in the minor key, I think it still has a sense of brightness and fun to it. Keeping with the theme of nostalgic, groovy, and funky, I programmed the bass to be playful and bouncy. My inspiration was 70s, 80s, soul, disco, funk music. I wanted to reinterpret that vibe with a modern electronic twist. I wanted the chorus to sound really textured and lush, but also dynamic. There's two separate synth lines happening on the main chorus. I also wanted the main synth stabs to have unique and weird character to it, so I play around with pitch, shifting them up or down on sections of the song that feel appropriate. The lead lines of the song are a supporting cast. I didn't want them to overpower the main vocal melodies, so I kept it simple. The guitar sample was added last minute to give the chorus a funky feel. These pads were added to give a subtle texture to the song. The role of this pad is to add dynamics in important areas of the song, such as the chorus. It sits low and quiet. It's kind of like the wallflower of the party. Abby Press is a gifted songwriter and producer with whom I had the pleasure of working with on this song. It didn't take her very long to send me the complete demo. She sent in a ton of vocal files that I played around with. The ones that made it are the ones that we thought sounded great overall. With Abby being a good singer, there isn't really a lot of work to be done. So I process her vocals very simply. Delays, reverbs, compressors, and stereo wideners to make her voice thicker and more present in the mix. I also love the lyrics of this song. I think it's something that most of us can relate to. The feeling of falling in love with someone. It took two years to finally release this song. Um, it, it's quite a long time, but I am so happy that it's finally released. I really hope that you enjoyed the song as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you like the song, add it on your Spotify playlist or Apple Music playlist. You can also subscribe to my newsletter, uh, Kuya Club, where you have exclusive access to new music, 
uh, new videos, uh, plus free stuff. The link is down below. Question, what's one part of the song that you really like? Uh, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, see ya. Bye.